Yellowstone volcano is a high-risk threat. What does the dire USGS warning mean? Yellowstone volcano was labeled a high risk in the latest volcano assessment published by the United States Geological Survey, USGS. The USGS assessment ranks volcanoes in the US based on their potential destructive capability. Yellowstone volcano was ranked a high threat system based on its potential eruptive power, average recurrence of eruptions and how it compares to other volcanoes in the US. And yet despite being a high-risk volcano, Yellowstone only ranked number 21 on the list. So what exactly does this imply for future Yellowstone eruptions and the current threat posed by the Fiery Mountain? The USGS assessment is not a ranking of volcanoes most likely to erupt as but rather an analysis of their potential danger. Michael Poland, chief volcanologist of the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, Ivo, said the threat level of each volcano was based on a combination of 24 factors. These factors include proximity to populated areas, the size of past eruptions, types of past eruptions and whether or not the volcano shows any signs of rumbling. This means a volcano significantly smaller than Yellowstone could be considered a much bigger risk if it is located next to a town or city. Mr. Poland wrote today in the weekly USGS Caldera Chronicles. Threat is defined as the combination of a volcano's hazard potential, and the exposure of people and property to those hazards. In other words, a volcano that only erupts lava flows but doesn't have anyone living on it has very low threat, since even though there is a hazard, lava, there are no people or property at risk from that hazard. Comma on the other hand, and near an airport has a higher threat, since lots of people and property are exposed to the hazard, even if the hazard might be a relatively small one. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.